today I'm going to show you my John Deere Hydro 175, a total classic. Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Gwyneth Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well, just like this video. Now, last year we were in a, an agricultural farm sale and we bought this John Deere Hydro 175. Well, the wife actually bought it, I wasn't there. And it was a total, you know, you watch those program storage wars when they buy stuff and they haven't got a clue if it worked. Didn't have a key, didn't have a guarantee. It was just sold that scene. We didn't even know if it was running. Anyway, we bought it for an absolute bargain. Round about the 200 pound mark is what we paid for this. An absolute steal. Uh, probably one of the biggest bargains I've ever bought in my life or we've bought in our life. We literally bought a brand new key from John Deere. I put the battery on charge overnight started up in the morning and she fired up straight away after putting a bit of straight petrol in her and we just couldn't believe it now we've had this for a year we haven't serviced it at all um it probably needs a service now and that has been driving it quite hard getting stuck in the hedges and everything so you're grimming in there lad so she's uh Needs a bit of TLC, but I'm just going to show you the John Deere. Now, I'm not sure how old this is. It's probably a good 20 year old. And you can see the guy before, he was a contractor. Mowing lawns, Towie Valley lawn. We don't do any contracting, anything like that with it. This is just purely lawn work to cut the lawns with us. It's got, we've actually got the collector to go on the back. But I don't believe in collecting the grass. That's... Uh, not something I'm going to do here. Hang on, I can do that with a small push on, but we like to feed it back into the lawn. Petrol tank on the back here. Now, the only thing that's broken on this since we've added is the spring here, which I've just tied back on. I will need to get the spring on there. Hydraulic fluid in there. You can see she's losing a bit of paint. Ideally, we should restore this back to original condition. Because apart from the bit of rust and everything, she's in really, really good nick. So, let me explain how the hydro works. So, this is hydrostatic. You, this is forward, bring her back to neutral, she'll stop, then bring her back for reverse. There's no pedal for forward or reverse, that's just the brake. So, if I push that on the forward position, hit the brake, that goes back to neutral. So, this is your forward, back and brake. Everything all went quite confusing if you're not used to hydrostatic drive, especially on the stick. Uh, you just gotta work it out like that. This button here disengages the hydrostatic drive, just in case you gotta push it. Because if you try and push this now, you'll, you'll never push it. Handbrake to lock it in place. You've got one to four, the height of cutting. This lever here then, when you drive in and you wanna drop, your deck down, pull back, press the button, let it go, and the deck goes down. Very, very simple. Bring that back up. Now, on the dash here, there's no horn or anything. This is an old machine. No power steering or anything. You've got the throttle and the choke all in one. So on a cold start, push that all the way forward. Turn, she'll start, bring that back down. We've got the lights, which works as well. And this yellow button here then, this engages the blades. I'll show you that once I start it up. Let's have a look at the engine. Now everybody knows when it comes to lawnmowers, John Deere is pretty much the Rolls Royce. I thought it was just a lift. Simple, simple engine. Petrol, that's your air filter, your engine oil. A little car battery or a smaller than that. And you can see the engine is pretty good. And it's actually a Kawasaki engine. Now we've actually got a, a push John Deere and that's got a Kawasaki engine on it as well. So they've obviously got a good relationship together. But uh, I tell you, she goes very, very well. Well, I think that's the tour 
of the John Deere. Nothing else to say about it apart from if you are going to buy a John Deere classic like this and they're being 20 year old, this was obviously kept in a barn all its life and you can see by the condition of it, I know it's got a little bit of rust here and there, but there's no deep rust, it's all cosmetic, a couple of cracks in the seat, but she runs like new. And there's nothing left to do now than to wash this beauty, cut some grass, and I'm not going to cut it because I'm not head tractor driver or head tractor driver on this scale in Bimbach. That's my wife. I'm going to let her take over the video and we'll uh, watch her cut some grass. I'll be fine. There you go. Show the YouTube community how to cut some grass. <laughs> professional. Well, that's the mower, cut the lawn. What do you think of Garad? Would you recommend that John Deere as a second hand tractor? Absolutely. And here's a bit of marital advice to everybody out there. Don't get your wife diamond rings or fancy holidays. Buy them a John Deere lawnmower. <laughs> Isn't that right, Garad? Oh yeah, good one. <laughs> anyway. If you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.